Hey guys, and welcome back to Castle Crush, and today we are going to be playing with a Skeleton Army deck, and we have the Spectre as well, and the Valkyrie, so it's not quite every Skeleton card as in the past, but this one's especially epic with a lot of Skeletons because we're doing it in the maxed out game mode, and that means we'll have 12 uh, crystals to start the match. Which definitely makes it much easier to get a lot of the skeleton cards out there sooner, as well as to combo them with the Spectre. Uh, it just makes, in general, for those combos to be a bit easier. And then on top of that, we also have the Resurrection. We have a double Resurrection, which is going to be very interesting indeed. But I am relying very heavily on the Spectre and the Black Witch. So definitely hoping that those cards can come through for me here. And definitely hoping that we can still manage to reach my opponent's castle. This match doesn't look so good. They have Dragon and they have Mage out there. So I definitely have to play some cards. I probably should have played that Valk in the bottom lane. Um, but would have helped to clear it up a bit. However, Necromancer is helping me out. I mean, sorry, Resurrection is helping me out there as well as the Necromancer. Uh, bringing things back to life. Looked like I was going to lose this match. But no, I'm still hanging in there. And... Trying to decide what my strategy should be. I just need to hold off that Mud Elemental. That dragon could be a problem. What are we going to do? Oh no, they're going to get there with the Mud Elemental. But I'm doing a lot of damage to their castle. And yes, we picked up the win. Top stuff right there. Man, there are a lot of tough cards to play against when you're running a skeleton deck. And the Executioner is definitely one of them. Initially, I had tried this challenge without the Spectre, and it was pretty much near impossible because you pretty much need the Spectre to be able to handle anything that skeletons don't like. I mean, the Black Witch can do some of it, but if they're running like Ice Elemental and Executioner, one Black Witch isn't really going to be enough to handle that job, so... The Spectre has been, you know, you can't really run a, ske a skeleton deck too much without having a Spectre in there. It's just such a key card, and especially if you're going to bother with the Necromancer, the whole point of that is to help keep skeletons alive, and if you're keeping the skeletons alive more, uh, it works even better for the, for the uh, Spectre. So... Really like this deck with the Valkyrie, too. I think it's really important to have the Valkyrie, because... It definitely allows me to get the skeletons out there quickly and combo them with the Spectre. Although I will say it's not quite as epic as in double mana speed just because you're not getting cards as quickly. So I definitely found myself in comparison to double mana speed. There were a lot of times where I was waiting for cards in comparison. Especially sometimes I end up stuck like right here on those Necromancers. I mean, sorry, on the, the Resurrections. Not sure when to play them, but also realizing that I needed to draw a card because when the Valkyrie's out there, I can just draw cards. Yeah, I should have been a little bit more aggressive here playing the Resurrection. I didn't know what I was waiting for, but I was like waiting for something. And right there, I guess I got what I was waiting for, but I could have gotten some other cards out in the meantime. Actually, the top lane ended up working out, but see, this is a great example of why you don't play a dragon. They were about to win, they played the dragon, and now they're going to lose. If they hadn't played that dragon, they literally would have won. I don't know exactly if that was intentional, or if they just messed up, or if they are just trying to troll, but it ends up costing them this match. All because they played that dragon. If they hadn't played it, the splash damage I think from the mage would have gotten, would have gotten me. So, 
Got the Skull Queen down. That is a good start to this match. And the Necromancer. Uh, I would like to get into some other lanes, but we should be able to do that soon with the Skull King. This is why I really like Maxed Out, because you can get right into cards like Skull King without having to wait a long time. I don't think this deck would work nearly as well. I'd have to have a different deck, really, if I was doing this in, like, ranked matches, because it would just be too high of a mana cost. But... This works fantastically for Maxed Out because I can get all the cards I need out very quickly. A little bit late on that Black Witch. Couldn't quite save those skeletons. But I was able to get rid of the dragon and that was a big turn of events in my favor. Yeah, sometimes the resurrection was kind of just blocking me from drawing cards. Maybe I should have just gone with one Resurrection instead of two, but there were also times where I felt like it got me some wins, just because it's very useful for bringing back the Valkyrie as well as the Skull Queen. And the Necromancer. All three of those cards, like, if you bring them back, uh, that can be a big momentum swinger. And that's what I was able to do here. Plus 31, let's go. We were turning this match around. This, That one looked pretty tough, but I think in that case, the Resurrection really did help to keep the uh, Valkyrie alive. And then I was able to really capitalize on that. And most of the cards they were playing at that point were just not strong enough to hold off my push. And I was able to Black Witch. The Ice Elemental, they do get another Dragon out there, but... You know, it's pretty easy to go around when they just have one lane. And... Can we finish them off? Yes, we can. So, let's play the Valkyrie first. And just go right in here. And get the Spectre set up. Yeah, we got a good setup here early in this match. This should be very difficult for them to push back with. Though they do have an Ice Elemental, but... I don't know, I found that even if they have one problematic card, I can still usually go around in the other lanes and just take care of them that way. And there's another dragon, so now two lanes are filled with potential problems, but... I decide I'm going to just try and work through that dragon and not let it be too much of an issue. They're raging, but didn't matter. Bottom lane got it done. So, Orcs Horde, actually a good matchup against Skeleton's Legion. But I already have the Necromancer stack established. Pretty decent starting hand draw. So we get the plus 12, and ooh, what a nice play there, but yeah, so they're coming back with... Ah, that Executioner is really doing work, but I think that Dragon again helped me out. I'm trying to think about what I want to do here. Might Black Witch the middle lane, although it's actually a relatively even trade, but I think I'll do it just to get the card out of my hand because I didn't know where else to play it. And again, with the Valkyrie out there, I would like to be taking advantage of the ability to draw cards. Again, I can bring back the Valk to see if I can get some more cards off. And we didn't need it. Turns out we got the win. Those lanes with a lot of skeletons are super, super powerful when the Black Witch is down there. That's why I really like Resurrection with... with uh, Sorry, the Skull Queen. I really like Resurrection with Skull Queen because, you know... You can really maximize her uptime. And that can really make the difference between a win and a loss. Right here, decide to go with the double specter. Trying to just go for the dunk. It actually kind of worked out because the skeletons got destroyed. And I did not have resurrection that time. So I'd say that was a good play in the end. And just going to get that black witch out of my hand. 
And again, Resurrection taking up spawn in my hand. So I end up just playing it because the Valkyrie's there, so I know I can just draw and keep playing. If the Valkyrie wasn't there, I don't always just spam the draw button necessarily. But when the Valk is there, you can kind of just spam the draw button. So... Skull Queen, this should be the finisher card right here. And do we have this double lanes going hard here? Yes, we do. Good win. Good win, good win. I've, I'm have really happy this deck has been able to win against decks with dragons in them because I was very concerned that might not be able to happen. But I've gotten reasonably lucky in that Pretty much the Ice Elementals and the Dragons, I Black Witch them, and anything else, even if it's like a Mage or an Executioner, I can usually do enough damage to it over time, especially with a Necromancer. The Skeletons will often still get a hit on it, and then over time it will just get worn down. Spectre also helps with uh, Executioners, so... And there's a Black Witch... Kind of a good one by them, but they don't seem to be able to capitalize on it just yet. And... Hmm. I need more offense. I like that play, but... Uh, I really should have kept that Necromancer up. That See, that was kind of a bad move there, because now they have the Valkyrie up, and my Necromancer's down. That looked like a good play when I initially saw it, but now I'm in big trouble, and I don't know what to do. I've lost this match. Um, I don't have any skeletons left, <laughs> so it was a good try. I think I just slightly misplayed something there, but also just they had a really good push. So good game, well played. I had a lot of fun with that challenge, so leave a like if you did in fact enjoy. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. And give me some more ideas on what types of videos I should make, Castle Crush or other games. Maybe subscribe if you're new to the channel for more videos. I've been doing really frequent videos recently. And thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos.